Fatima al Fihriya founded the world's first university in 859 AD in Fez, current day Morocco. Al Qarawiyyin University still operates today and is recognized as the oldest existing university in the world. A brand new concept at the time, a place that would not just educate, but grant certificates, ensuring that your education was complete. Al Qarawiyyin soon developed into a center for religious instruction and political discussion, gradually extending its education to all subjects. Alongside astronomy, the range of studies included the Quran and theology, law, rhetoric, prose and verse writing, logic, arithmetic, but that's not all, geography, medicine, grammar, Muslim history, chemistry and mathematics. Essentially everything under the sun. The university not only took local students, but also those from neighboring countries, opening its doors to what would become the first foundations for the European Renaissance. Notable alumni include Muhammad Al Idrisi, an Arab Muslim geographer, cartographer, and Egyptologist, who created the Tabula Rajariana, one of the most advanced medieval world maps. Ibn Khaldun, an Arab Muslim sociologist, philosopher, and historian, who has been described as the precursive founder of the proto-disciplines that would become historiography, sociology, economics, and demography. And Gerbert of Aralak, also known as Pope Sylvester II, who took to Europe what he learnt from the Muslims and introduced them to the decimal numeral system, a system that Muslims created that he got credited for. Fatima al Fihriya herself was one of the first people to receive a degree. You can still find her original diploma on a wooden board at the library, across from the university itself. Oh, and a side note, the library is the oldest library in the world. <laughs>